Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, it's a new day, special day, thank God. So I pray to you all are having a great day. But if your morning is going pretty bad, you know, it's going to be okay. Keep on throughout the day. It has to get better. And if your day is already cool, well, good for you. So, I am here to give you a, a morning message, like, encouraging message, like, this is the last, last, what, Friday of 2020. After today, there is no more 2020. 2020 is going by its business. 2020 was like, oh, it was tough. And so this message is inspired by um, like, like everyday life. Okay, so. I had washed a load of clothes last night. And so this morning when I was taking the clothes out the washer, God immediately spoke. You know, all the clothes was in there and all of them was cleansed, right? And so when I take them all out, okay, when you take all your clothes out the washing machine, you, well, you put all your clothes in the washing machine, all of them go in together dirty. Every last piece of sock, panties, bras, drawers, uh, pants, shirts, Whatever, all of it that goes in the wash at the same time, all of it, every item that goes in there is dirty. Not one is clean, right? But when you put them in the washing machine, they begin to wash. They become to get agitated together. You know, all that dirt and all that filth, all that grime, all of them there together. All of, although every piece is separate, a different piece and serve its purpose. All of it was in there together, just washing together. In the agitator. Just being agitated. Just getting cleansed, right? But when the cycle stopped, every item that was in there that was in there dirty together. Now all of it, all of them is clean, right? So they send in the washing. And, and and then you go in, you get your clothes out the washing machine, and you put them in the dryer. And when you put them in the dryer, they thinking they cool. Okay, well, we was in a little stuffed crayon place together. Now you're pulling us one, out one by one, one by one. Now we're putting you in the dryer. So the clothes thinking they okay. But once the clothes get in the dryer, then is when the tough part come. They got to be heated. They have to go through the fire. It has to go in order for it to um, be used for what it's purpose for. And that's for a human, a human's body. So when you put the clothes in the, in the wash, I mean the dryer, they're getting it the dry, they're going through the heat, they're going through the pressing. Oh my God. Oh my God. All that heat. Then you take the clothes, open the dryer, you take the clothes out the dryer, and every piece of item that you took out the dryer used for its purpose. The sock, the bra, the panties, the shirt, the pants, all of that has its own purpose, but it all go right back to the body. All right, Holy Ghost. It goes right back to the body, okay? You see the message said we all went in together, right? We all went in together. Everybody on this earth, I don't care if they was in China, Canada, Argentina, United States, no matter. Everybody went through the fire of dealing with this coronavirus, losing loved ones, losing their jobs. Um, losing their finances, um, some gain finances, everything went in to serve this purpose. But just like them clothes, when you take them clothes out, when they go through the washing and drying, the sock going to serve its purpose, purpose because it's on the body. God is the body. Jesus Christ is the body. Human beings is the body of Christ. Like that sock has to go where it needs to go. Them pants go where it needs to go. The bra goes where it needs to go. God wanted, wants you to, want me to remind you of this thing. When you go to Luke chapter 17. In Luke chapter 17, there was 10 lepers. And they was walking. And they seen Jesus Christ. And they said, son of God. You know, they said, Jesus, heal us. Have mercy on us. Jesus just saw, I mean, they was foreigners, which mean they was not the children of Israel. They were Samaritans. They was, they, they, Jesus came to the earth for the children of Israel, 
I hope y'all know that. So when he came to this earth, he came to this earth with one thing in mind, God's chosen people. But when he got here on this earth, God's chosen people turned their back on him. So therefore, Jesus knew he had a purpose to come here on this earth. And it was just not to just come and just say, hey, it's me. No, he came to fulfill the purpose and the will of God for, each, for, for the children of Israel, but they rejected him. He said, my own rejected me. But the Gentiles, the Samaritans, the Amalekites, anybody who was around that knew who he was and trusted and believed in him. Honey, what happened? They faith made them whole. They, they began to um, worship God. Do you see what I'm saying? What I love about this 10 lepers, when they saw him, they said, have mercy on us. And Jesus blessed them. Jesus said, you are cleansed. Okay. So after Jesus healed them, all 10 went on their way. So they still had the leopard on them, that disease. But that 10 went on their way. But one looked down and realized, my hands look new. What? Some things that fell off of me. He turned around and went back and bowed down before Jesus and gave glory to God. He bowed down and told him, thank you for healing me. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for doing that for me. And Jesus said, was there not 10 of you? But only one came back to give glory to God? Wow. The other nine that went on, they went on about their business. But they didn't give glory to God. Out of all the people who have died from the from COVID, from all of the people who have lost their houses and lost their cars, for all of the people who in uh, marriages and broke up through this pandemic, you're that one that's still standing. You might not have all the things that you started out with in 2020, but you're still standing. You still have the mobility of your lips to give praise. You still have the eyesight that you can look before the Father, read his word, and give him praise. You still have the mobility to move your fingers and say, hallelujah, God. You still have these things. You might have lost some things. You might have been a leper that had these things on you. But because you gave glory to God and, and you call out to God in the name of Jesus, God, I need you to regulate my mind, God. God, I need you to keep my mind. God, keep my, my sanity. God, I know I, we all are in this together. And God, I know, I know we all going through the heat together. But Father, I made it out the storm. I made it to another day, God. I'm getting ready to walk into 2021. God, I made it through what could have taken my mind, what could have taken my voice, what could have taken my ability to think and to love. But God, you saw fit that I'm getting ready to walk into a new 2021. You are that person. You are that person. Your bank account might look ugly, but it's okay. Your children might be acting crazy, <laughs> but it's okay. Your job might have laid you off, but it's okay. You still got your right mind. You still can speak what thus says the Lord, believe in giving him praise. And when you turn around and th right now, this is the, the, the last day in the year of 2020, it shall be no more. You get ready to go into 21 victorious because God kept you. God kept you. And when you're going into 2020, anytime you're going into something new, it's, any, you're going into something new, it's unfamiliar. It's new territory, but you're going to be okay. That leper. He once was a leper. I mean, he was cast out through everybody. Else. Nobody wanted to be around those lepers. So that's why they was in a huddle together. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Them 10 was in a huddle together. But when they went on and was healed, but that one who came back and gave glory to God, that is you. We all was in this together. We all went through the, through the washing and the cleansing and the fire together. But now you're getting ready to walk in your 2021. God said, just like them clothes, when you pull them clothes out the dryer, them, that sock got to go where it needs to go. That bra got to go where it needs to go. Them panties got to go where it needs to go. That shirt got to go where it needs to go. What about you? Now that you have come out, come out of 2020, because you have come through the fire, we all going to go our separate ways. But which way are you going to go? Are you going to go back and give glory to God and give thanks to God? 
Are you going to be that person and say, Lord, I thank you? Are you going to turn around on this last day and give him your all? Give him your thanks. Give him your praise. You might not be in the church, you know, where they have wash night service, but your wash night service can be in your living room. Your wash night service, your wash night day can be when you're riding with your family members. Do you see what I'm saying? This is, this is your day. This is your 31 last day of the year that you can get this 31st. You can give praise to Almighty God and say, God, hmm, thank you, Holy Ghost. That one that came back, that last leper who came back, that only one who came back, he bowed down and gave God himself. Are you going to be that leper that give God, give, give God you? Are you going to be the one that say, God, I made it through? God, give me the strength. Show me the way, God. God, I'm ready. I'm ready to surrender to you. Trust me, boo. You're not going to be perfect. Eh, no, 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 no. It ain't going to be perfect. But you can walk in a perfect light, which means being matured every day in your life. We all have been through together. We have been fornicating together. We have gambled together. We have lied together. We have stole together. Oh, my God. We have did drugs together. We have did all these things. We all went in this together. But this is the day. That God has made. And he allowed you to be able to see this day. And if it's God's will, he allowed you to go. That tomorrow in a brand new day. Will you be like the only leper who turned around and gave glory to God? Will you give glory to God giving him thanks on tomorrow that you made it through? And say, God, here, here I am. I'm still not where you want me to be or where you desire me to be. But God, I'm, 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 I'm willing and I'm ready. God is so amazing. The enemy don't want us to go to God and say, God, forgive me. The enemy don't want us to talk to God. The enemy want us to believe that we're nothing. That, that what we did was so bad that we can't come back to God. But the devil is a liar. If the Samaritan can be healed, the Samaritan, that they, they know much about Christ. They heard about him. But they ain't know much about him. But because they heard about him and they have the opportunity where like I'm sick. And I see the Jesus, the son of God, walking down. Hey, I got to see what's to this thing. And they say, have mercy on us. Now went on, but that one had faith and belief. He didn't just use him, just use him just because he could heal him. He gave glory to him. He gave glory to the Father who gave him the ability to allow them to be healed. Jesus is that glue that allows us to, to go to the Father. Jesus is that is the only two. Jesus is the only two. The only two. No other name. No other name. Moses, Muhammad, Abraham, Buddha. No other name. No other um no other um uh, well, religious or no, uh, not, nothing, nothing is greater than Jesus Christ, the name of Jesus. You know when you called on the name of Jesus, even if the situation didn't change, God gave you peace. And when he gave you peace, you walked into a whole new new. That's how much that God loves you, he loves me, and he loves everybody else. So while you on your leopard road, and God is cleansing you of your leprosy, you go back and give thanks. Your leprosy of doubt. You go back and give thanks. Your leprosy of jealousy. You go back and give your thank, give thanks. Your leprosy of envy. You go back and give thanks. Your leprosy of anything that will harm you and harm somebody else. Remember what the golden rule. Do unto others as you will have them to do unto you. If you want people to treat you right, you treat them right. You want people to love you right, you love them right. The Bible says in Matthew 22, love no other God but God and love your, love your neighbors. Because when you love God, you can love everybody else. And when you love everybody else, you're giving glory to God. And God is saying, that's my child. Yeah. So you all be blessed. And though we all went in together, but we all coming out separately. And when we come out separately, everybody go to their um, respective place. And you give glory to God. Y'all have a blessed day. Happy New Year's. I pray to see you all in the new year, in the new to come. I'm excited. And you should be excited too.
Because I know 2020 almost took us out. Oh, Lord Jesus, 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 Jesus. <sighs> but if it's God's will, he let us see tomorrow a brand new day. All is well. Don't you dare give up. You be that one. You go back and you give thanks. Bless somebody with this video. Somebody needs to know this. Them dear lepers need to know that we all went in together and we all went through the fire. But now that we all have come out the fire separately, where they be that one to go back and give glory to God and give themselves over to God. You all have a blessed day. Happy New Year's! Later. Bye.